I am never going to look at Dwayne Johnson the same way after seeing Central Intelligence. Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and I'm here to review Central Intelligence. So Central Intelligence stars Dwayne Johnson, Kevin Hart, and Amy Ryan. The film is about when Kevin Hart, he reunites with Dwayne Johnson because 20 years ago, you know, something happens in senior year where Dwayne Johnson, he, he plays a character named Bob. Bob used to be this very chubby kid back in high school and there was an incident where a group of these bullies just throw him out in the gym and you know he can never look at senior year ever again after that and then 20 years later Jet Kevin Hart and Bob Dwayne Johnson they reunite and they become friends then after a little short reunion Jet finds out that Bob is actually in the CIA so in a world where Jet was just having a normal accountant life he now is on the espionage life and the only way he could get out of it is if he helps Dwayne Johnson with something dealing with all of these codes now I was really excited for Central Intelligence. I really was actually legitimately excited to see this movie. Ever since it was announced back in 2014, just hearing Dwayne Johnson and Kevin Hart in the movie together had me sold because I personally really like these guys. And Central Intelligence, when I saw the first trailer, I was like, yep, I'm sold. I was hoping that this would be a comedy I'm going to remember, a comedy that I can find myself re-watching because I like these guys so much. Well, I'm going to go ahead and just say that there is entertainment value that goes into Central Intelligence. I definitely did laugh at some parts of the movie. Some parts of the movie did get good laughs out of me. I never really laughed out loud, hard at a lot of moments. There are maybe like two or three scenes in the movie where I did laugh out loud but for the majority I was just getting a nice ha 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 so it wasn't anything like gut bustingly funny besides a few moments but it was still funny when the humor actually worked in my opinion not gonna spoil anything but the therapy scene in this film is hands down the funniest scene in Central Intelligence. But what also really adds to the entertainment value of Central Intelligence are definitely Dwayne Johnson and Kevin Hart. I really enjoyed these two together. They both have very good interactions with each other. They were both very charismatic. You could tell they were both having a lot of fun on screen. And it's really cool to see it because you could see them like taking pictures on Instagram or making videos on Instagram. And it's just cool to see them become buddies, interacting with each other on Twitter as well. And to see the way they interact with each other in the film, it's honestly really cool. And it just puts a big old smile on my face. Dwayne Johnson is seriously really great as Bob. This is a different role for him because we're used to seeing him being Mr. Big Muscles that just punches and he's basically unstoppable like sure yes he does do his shooting and his punching but Bob is a character you can actually sympathize with because you know of what happened to him in senior year of high school how he had no friends and how he's this guy that used to be very chubby in his high school days but to see him transform being much healthier and all that just seeing how his character transforms you know when you really look at it it was a different role for The Rock and I was very impressed by it and you do feel bad for Bob especially in a couple of scenes that I did find to be very heartwarming and I thought The Rock pulled off very well and I think this role suits The Rock because let's face it in real life The Rock really is a giant teddy bear he's huge he is someone you could be scared of when you meet him but it's like when you get to know him he's just this big lovable um, giant teddy bear that you could just give a big old hug so I think this role really suit Dwayne Johnson I thought he did a really good job Kevin Hart I've always really liked him and I thought he did a really good job in this movie as well you could tell he was just having a lot of fun along with Dwayne Johnson he interacted with him very well and I thought Kevin Hart he definitely had his moments during this movie movie. What I also really admire about Central Intelligence is the fact that this movie has a very good message about bullies, how 
a bully can honestly really affect your life. Bullying is not cool and I actually admire Central Intelligence for having a message like that. I truly do admire this movie for having that kind of message. The rest of the performances in this film I thought were pretty good including Amy Ryan. I thought Amy Ryan was good in this film and there are a few surprise cameo appearances from well-known actors. I am not going to spoil those cameo appearances. I definitely really enjoyed the cameo appearances here in this film. The action I did think was um, decent at best. I had enough fun with the action. Of course I'll get more details with the negatives when it comes to the action but the action I would still say despite the negatives I did have towards it I still had enough fun watching it. I know this is a comedy and all, you don't go to comedies to judge cinematography and all that, but the cinematography in Central Intelligence I personally thought looked really good. It was shot very well. The lighting was very nice. You can see what's going on. Even in the nighttime, you're able to see very well of what's going on. So I thought cinematography looked really good for Central Intelligence. And I do think for the most part, the movie had really good direction to it. I thought the direction was pretty damn solid. But my problems with Central Intelligence is that some of the other humor that happens in this film honestly does feel forced. Honestly, when it comes to the humor in Central Intelligence, it is very hit and miss. Some parts did make me laugh a few times, laugh out loud. And then there's other parts that really felt forced and just really didn't work for me personally. And it would even get repetitive as well. Like Kevin Hart would drag on a few dialogue moments because you know, he's overreacting. He's freaking out about the whole espionage thing with Bob and him having to get through this whole situation with Bob. And you know, it is very funny, but when he does it a few more times during the film it does get old pretty fast as far as the storyline goes you know it's decent at best i can have fun with the storyline but it does get convoluted mainly when you get to the third act of the movie once you get to all these twists and turns that this movie has going for it it does get very convoluted and you're just all like wait, wait what like it just didn't really make that much sense and i'm kind of scratching my head because i'm kind of going what the hell is going on and i'm sure the movie's trying to have that vibe and trust me i still got a few laughs because of a few of the things that that didn't really make sense and I think the movie's aware of that and it honestly does start to lose its steam like I'm honestly ready for the movie to end because the third act was starting to lose some of the fun factor as well as reusing a couple of jokes that we've been seeing for the majority of this movie also as far as the action like I said I had enough fun with it at least I can say that I could still get behind the action I still had fun with it whenever the movie had some going for it but the filming for those action sequences really have not been that good. I'm still able to see what's happening. It's not like where it's shaking up a whole lot. It's not like that. But when there's an action scene happening, the camera does tend to shake up just a little too much. Like for some reason, the camera doesn't stay still during the action scenes. And I thought they honestly could have improved upon that. Not to mention it does do some quick cuts here and there that also didn't feel necessary. You know, the storyline does get predictable. You know where the movie's going to lead with the storyline. And it does try to have all of these twists and turns. But it's like once you get to the third act where all of these twists and turns are just happening out of nowhere. I'm seeing these things coming. And I give this movie props because I did have fun with the storyline. Like, I was actually intrigued sometimes with the storyline with the film. But it's like where it leads up to that, I think it just became way too much after a while because of everything that's happening in the climax. And the direction at times, it's not that 
gray and it does get quite bumpy in some spots of the movie. It's really mainly just the action. Anytime they're not having an action scene, the movie is well directed, but whenever there's action happening, I did feel like the overall direction was honestly not that impressive and I feel like it could have had more work. Overall, you guys, I just thought Central Intelligence was an okay movie. I just think the movie didn't reach the potential of at least being a good comedy. Was it decent? Yeah. Was it entertaining? Yeah, but it's not a comedy movie that I can rewatch like I was hoping I could coming out of this movie. It's just a fun one type watch movie. I cannot reach to three stars on this movie. The highest I could give Central Intelligence is two and a half out of four stars. I was entertained watching the movie, but I did come out of it underwhelmed and it really is not all that memorable in my opinion. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think about Central Intelligence. Also you guys, if you follow me on Facebook and Twitter, I did tell you guys to predict what I was going to rate Central Intelligence, and if you predicted the rating right, that you were going to get a shout out here in this movie review, and on Facebook, the shout out goes to Caden LaPlante. He predicted I was going to give it two and a half out of four stars, and... He predicted it right, and he does have a YouTube channel called Big Lazy and Red, you guys, so if you want to check out that channel, I'm going to leave a link in the description down below. As I'm checking Twitter before I start to process this review of Central Intelligence, it is Rain Blood, aka Mark Sanders, sorry about the lighting, he actually predicted it right as well on Twitter. He does movie reviews, um, he has a series called it Is Raining Blood and Friends, which is a really great series, so I'm going to leave a link to his channel in the description down below as well. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!